welcome to the second workout in the Lean Line series. This workout contains additional exercises that are similar in format to the basic Pilates regime that you previously learned. Now, before we get into the exercises, let's review some basic Pilates principles to help you perform these exercises properly. When you go through the movements, make sure that you're moving slow with control and precision. Make sure that you're utilizing the breath, activating through your core, and lengthening through your limbs, as well as elongating through your spine to get the most out of the exercises. Now let's make sure that your total gym is set up appropriately. Have your incline placed at a medium level with your toe bar attached, and we will be using your cables. Now we're ready to learn the exercises to get you set on the Pilates path. We'll start out with some footwork. Cup your hands at the edge of your glide board to keep your hips in place. Bring your feet up to the bottom rails and articulate your spine down to a supine position. And then walk your feet up to the top of your toe bar, wrapping your feet around, gluing your heels together and elongating through your legs. Stay high on your tippy toes, then drop your heels under the bar, lift up on your toes, bend the knees, and then extend them. So it's a drop, a lift, a bend, and a stretch. Now as you do this, focus on elongating through the legs when they lengthen, stretch when they flex, and draw your navel in. And then on top of that, start to use your breath through each of the movements. Once you've gone through these a few times, bring your one foot to parallel, wrapping your toes around the bar and extend the leg out, feeling the stretch behind the leg and behind the knee. For leg circles. So draw a small little circle, making sure that you feel the length at every point of that circle. And of course, go in the opposite direction. Now these circles can be small or they can start to go a little bit bigger, crossing over the midline of the body just make sure that you're drawing a circle and not a triangle. And do this exercise on both sides. Then we'll move into spine and core preparation. So bring your feet down to the rails, extend out through your arms, articulate through your spine as you come up into a seated position. Open up through your arms and we'll twist and saw. So as we twist, we lift up through our spine, growing longer, reach out through the back arm, Draw your chin to your chest, round through your spine, saw off the opposite toe that you're reaching with from the arm. Then unwind and go to the opposite side. Lift up as you twist, grow longer, articulate through your spine, rounding down, saw off that baby toe, and then come back up into your seated position. So move through this very slowly, really use your breath. Try to feel every movement as you're elongating, activating, stretching, reaching, and moving through the exercise. Then we'll move into the long stretch series. So close your glide board, place your palms onto your toe bar, and the knees are down. Tuck your toes, press out and away first, so you have the weight onto your arms. Keep your arms straight, and then extend out through the legs. So you're in a plank position. So you're long from your head to your heels at all times. And the movement is occurring from your shoulders. So you'll stretch out and move away. And then as you draw it back in, feel the activation through your back, your chest is leaning up and forward. So it's a very small motion, but you can really feel the core activating and your entire body working as a whole. So use your breath, inhaling and exhaling, keeping your ribs in, core nice and tight, legs long and stretching long through your limbs. Then we'll move into the ab series. So connect your cable, lower your incline, and then take one cable into your hand and come into a quadruped position. Now the free hand is the hand that you'll be balancing on. So make sure that your shoulders and your hips stay square at all times. And then you'll extend the opposite leg from the cable. Find your stability and keep that leg nice and long. Once you are there, extend out through the arm. Draw the elbow towards the knee and then extend right back out. So make sure that you keep that leg lifting high and away from your toe bar so that you don't hit it. Extend up through the back of the knee, lengthen through the arm. So you're creating that real long, activated effect through the joints, through the limbs, and staying active through your core to keep your balance. Make sure that you do this exercise on both sides. 
Then we move into swimming. So take both cables into your hands and come down to a prone position. Keep your chest lifted off of the edge of the glide board and your legs are externally rotated and separated. Press the arms down towards the floor, lift the, the legs up and the chest is into extension. Start to alternate a kicking motion with the legs and then start to add the arms into that swimming motion. So you're inhaling and exhaling. And you'll notice that the glide board is not moving. You're staying into that position in that static equilibrium at all times to really challenge your body and lengthen through your muscles. Then we'll move into the leg series. Disconnect your cable and come down to a side lying position. The bottom leg will stay at the bottom of the rails. Keep your hips and your ribs stacked at all times. Lengthen through the top leg for leg arcs. You'll lead with the heel as the leg stays in turned out position. You're coming up and over the toe bar, trying to make sure that you're not moving the hip. It's just the hip joint that is moving the leg. So you're really isolating the movement, but staying active and through the leg, elongating it, trying to reach past the toe bar each time that you move. And make sure that you do this exercise on both sides. We'll finish up our routine with a stretch called Eve's Lunge. Face away from your tower into a kneeling position and press your palms onto the toe bar. One foot is at the bottom base. Tuck your toe under to feel the stretch in the back of your foot and open up through the glide board. Keep your chest lifted, your core is engaged, and you'll press the glide board away, feeling the stretch in through your hip flexors and your thigh, and then draw it back in. So it's a nice little stretch to open up, and the glide board really helps you feel the stretch even more. So if you want to intensify it, you can extend through the back knee and do the same motion, dropping into a deeper stretch and then riding it back up. So you want to make sure that all the weight is placed into the supporting heel so that you keep the knee safe. Keep your shoulders down, keep your core engaged, and make sure you do this on both sides. But those are all of the exercises for the second Lean Lines workout. Practice the movements, learn them well within your body so that you become confident and fluid with the movements. And stay tuned for the final Lean Lines workout.